Hey guys and welcome back. I'm Rachel O'Leary and I thought today we would do another silly video entitled Five Life Lessons I've Learned from My Fish. Uh, now I spend a lot of time watching my fish and that's how I learn as much as I can about keeping and breeding them. And what I've learned from these little Altolamprologus compressiceps species Sumbu shell is that it's okay to have RBF and to always have incredible dorsal flare. Seriously though, watching your fish, you can tell a whole lot about territorial aggression, breeding behaviors, and just social hierarchies that they develop. And I think that these little dwarf cichlids are an excellent example of that. Um, this In this aquarium, which is my 75 gallon Lake Tanganyika tank, this guy has completely taken over the bottom left quarter of the aquarium and he's one of the smaller fish in the tank but he's clearly picked this shell as his place and defends it to the end as you can see here he's constantly looking around with that grumpy little face and just chasing anyone else away except for his chosen lady Now, from the tetras in the world, we can learn that it's okay for boys to be pretty. The males of a lot of tropical fish species often are very, very vibrant. And you can see that clearly here with these Karai tetras. Uh, the boys are flashing bright, bright blue and really displaying their fins to each other in a display of dominance, as well as trying to entice the females over to this area where they want to spawn. I think it's super fun to watch and it's also why even though most tetras are considered to be relatively docile it's important to take into consideration the gender ratio of the fish that you're housing together and this is of critical importance in a smaller aquarium now what we learn from these little honeycomb cats is that it's okay to be thick which is a pretty silly thing to say, but in all honesty, one thing you will see in the fish world is that often when fish are coming into breeding condition, uh, the females, especially catfish, get noticeably chubbier than the males, and the boys just go crazy chasing them around, as you can see here. It's one of the easiest ways to tell gender in catfish. What we learn from these little Neolamprologus multifasciatus or dwarf shell dwelling cichlids is that family always comes first. And this is typical of a lot of cichlids in that they exhibit some really, really awesome uh, parental strategies in order to protect their, their babies until they're of a size that they can protect themselves. And the Maltese are exceptionally fun to watch at this actively defending their eggs and fry from anything else in the aquarium and each other. What we learn from these dwarf cichlids, which are Pelvicochromus uh, cribensis, is to be loyal. Often with dwarf cichlids, they will form very, very specific bonded pairs like these guys here, whereas other fish like tetras are more of an opportunistic spawner. Uh, really breeding with anything that is willing. As always, thank you guys for your continued support. I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, again, very silly video. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what life lessons you've learned from your fish. And make sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell on so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.